Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about how to configure a site to site VPN with GRE. This is our concept, this is our lab scenario that we are going to do, and these are our tasks that has to be done for this lab. First is to configure the IP address as per the topology and make sure you have a reachability to the peer end. Okay, these two tasks I have already done. What I have done is uh, I have just created a static route pointing towards a WAN interface. So, sorry, default static route pointing towards the WAN interface so that all the routers will be reachable, all the networks will be allowed. Here I have allowed only the LAN interface segment of a client router and a server router. And here um, I have pointed a default static route towards the WAN interface. This is what I have done a configuration for the reachability end. So let's move on to the GRE part and like check mark. First, we just want to create a tunnel one IP address in this segment, and then the source IP as WAN interface and the destination IP as peer and WAN interface. Okay, I'm in the client router right now. I'm going to create a tunnel to interface tunnel one creates the tunnel interface and I'm going to give an IP address okay next is uh, tunnel source tunnel source is nothing but a WAN interface so in this case I just want to confirm the WAN interface do show interface description uh, yeah this is a WAN interface WAN interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and in this case is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is 20.0.0.1 so it's tunnel source this is the source and tunnel destination is the server and router to the interface brief WAN interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and this is this one so that's the configuration of a tunnel interface the same configuration to be done at a server router interface tunnel one we make sure you use the same subnet between the tunnel interfaces okay so far so good Next is we just want to check whether I can reach the tunnel and IP. It's reachable, so no issue from this end. Just want to confirm. Okay, no issue in reaching the tunnel interfaces. Next is we just want to configure a IKE phase one. Uh, encryption AES and K crypto ISA KMP policy 10 encryption AES authentication pre share group 5 hash is MD5. Okay, next is crypto ISA KMP key 6PGR spot. Address 30.0.20.0.0.1. So that's it. Same thing should be configured at a PRN. Crypto ISA KMP key is PGR spot and address is 30.0.0.2 okay next is we just want to configure a IKE phase 2 create a IPsec profile create a transform set with this configuration okay but initially I will create a transform set IPsec trans ESP MD5 and ESP AES. Okay. Crypto IPsec profile. 
IPsec profile set transform set okay confuse here crypto IPsec transform set okay then crypto IPsec profile IP set profile it's set transform set sorry it's IP set trans okay next there are two things that has to be left over one is it's all the traffic that is to be go via IP set next is to which interface we need to map this IP set okay first I just map to the concern interface I'm going to map it in that tunnel interface so it's tunnel protection IPsec profile and it's IPsec profile so it is done okay IPsec MP is on the same thing we just want to do it over here as IPsec tunnel 1, it's tunnel protection, IPsec profile, it's IPsec profile. Here is it's up. Next, we just want to point which or the traffic that is to be go via IPsec. Okay. Next, uh, we just want to create a static route from the client router to reach only the parent WAN interface router and the vice versa okay so what I'm going to do is um, here is a pointing that is a default route that's pointing towards uh, past it in a 0 slash 1 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the okay, okay. So IP interface brief is a WAN interface. So I just want to reach only this WAN interface. So I'm going to create a route 30.0.0.0.255.255.0 with uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. The same thing I have to do it over here. It's 20.0.0.0. They are fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay. I have done this. Next is remove the default route with the fast Ethernet interface. Create a default route with tunnel to encrypt the traffic. Okay. Next is um, I just want to remove the current default route. Okay, I'm going to since uh, why I have added this is for the reachability end. The parent should be reachable, or else the IPsec will not be work. So I'm going to remove it since I have pointed a route for reachability. So no issues. The same thing I have to do it over here no set this command okay next i just want to create a default route for other networks to reachable from the tunnel interface it's ip route 0 .0 .0 0 .0 0.0.0.0 pointing towards our tunnel interface as tunnel 1 and here is the same thing IP route 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0 with a pointing towards the tunnel 1 interface. Okay, now I can check as show the route static. Okay, the everything is being done. 
sure if you're out static so far so good okay make sure only the packets through the tunnel or only encrypted by ipsec you just want to confirm whether the ipsec is working show crypto ipsec sa okay no none of the packets have been encrypted as of now and then here and is this okay so far so good show crypto ipsec sa okay no issues till now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ping the concern interface so that the packets have been encrypted or not um, all the traffic that is being gone by a tunnel interface will get encrypted okay i just want to make sure that is um this lan interface segment should be encrypted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ping the lan interface segment that is 192.168.2.10 Okay, it's reachable. It's PKTS. Okay. It's due to some um, latency issues. So crypto count is say counters. Okay, we just clear it to the parent also. Now if we check it. Five packets being encrypted and five packets are decrypted. No issues from our end. The same thing we can check it from here also as 192.162.10. Okay. okay. We'll just print it once again. Five packets are encrypted. And five packets are decrypted. You can also check it by repeat ten. It will be another ten packets. So fifteen packets are encrypted and fifteen packets are decrypted. It was fine from our end. So in order for in order for confirmation, we can also create an another loopback. I'm going to create a another loopback interface. is create a loop back interface in server router and confirm that traffic to the interface Encrypted. IP set. So I am going to create a loopback interface now. And okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to ping. The loop back from here, and I just want to make sure the packet will be encrypted. As all the packets will be encrypted, uh, since it is pointing towards the default route, if it is reachable. It's working fine. It's uh, 20 packets will be encrypted and 20 packets are decrypted. No issues. So this is how you need to configure a uh, IPsec GRE. So in order to make sure it's working in GRE or virtual terminal interface, anything else, you can just confirm it as it's a terminal interface. There are two terms to conf uh, confirm. It will show you here as a GRE, tunnel protocol transport is GRE and IP. You can check it. With this information, we just want to uh, focus on where you want. You can get the information or else there is another command show tunnel it's a hidden command you could not see it 
but you should have to know about it it's show tunnel interface it's one of the hidden commands show tunnel interface it will give you which is the tunnel the tunnel interface that is being given here and what is the mode is GRE and AP what is the source and decision it will not give you a more information about what's the basic information what is the mode that has been using over here and what is its source the tunnel source and tunnel's destination this is what it gives you about but it's a hidden command it's well to know about it that's it about site-to-site uh, -site VPN if you have any queries or any issues in configuring or any uh, related issues just give a comment thanks for watching until next time